Welcome to Los Alamos. Welcome to Los Alamos. Welcome to Los Alamos. They said it'd be just like Cambridge. Harvard with sand. Joy, this doesn't look like Cambridge. I don't know that a lot of people uh, know what a fascinating, weird, sociological bubble this place was. We developed a weapon unlike any other weapon the world had ever seen uh, in this mysterious city in the desert of New Mexico. Now, this war will be fought on the battlefield, but make no mistake, the peace will be won with brains, not brawn. You're building an atomic bomb. We prefer to call it a gadget. I never knew how it began and how the, the twists and turns, the detours of how we actually got there. It's an origin story. Well, what's the place called? It ain't. No name, no street signs. Welcome to nowhere. What was exciting to me is this was a place where there were very, very, very different cultures uh, coexisting. Crosley, Fedowitz, Lau, Meeks, Prince. You need to come with us. The culture of science is one of open discourse and free communication, and uh, that's very different from the culture of military secrecy. Pacos and Malamos, as Cervantos Maltos. We sacrifice the few to save the many. To see those things butt up against each other as a storyteller, it's really, it's cool. It's really exciting. You're looking at the best equipped lab in the country. Two Van de Graaff accelerators, our own cyclotron. And we were so lucky to find this place, which was, uh, this sort of 14-acre, old 1940s um, uh, military hospital at one point. Families were uprooted from their lives. Uh, they weren't really told where they were going or what they were going to work on and moved to this secret city enclosed by barbed wire fences uh, in the middle of a desert, uh, you know, in a culture of secrecy. Listen to me. This is our home. I made a commitment. It is done. We're here till the end of the war. White lies important. Sometimes they protect mm. people. If the men can keep secrets, we're entitled to a few of our own. I'm pretty sure that secrets are never good. We made a deal when we came here. I would never ask you questions unless I absolutely needed answers and you would never lie to me. The suspense of the show is, you know, who's who's knows what secrets and, yeah. and, and uh, who's turning and if one of us turns out to be a spy. We're building a weapon. It's not like any weapon the world's ever seen. Hiroshima is the beginning of yeah, the exactly. military industrial complex. You know, that's the first chapter. It'll be more destructive than all the bombs dropped in all the wars in history put together. I remember having a lot of fears as a child of what it would mean for the world to end. Mm -hmm. It'll bring armies to their knees. Cities will disappear in the blink of an eye. Well, that was one of the main reasons they said to do it to actually drop it rather than to show the Japanese some kind of test, right. is that once people actually see the damage as terrible as it is, it, that would stop people from doing it. Whoever builds it first, that's the end game. So it has to be us, whatever it costs. What they thought was that they were going to end the war. Mm. Yeah. And, and not knowing that they actually that. started a new war, uh, the Cold War. What about the next war? What happens when Stalin's got one, China? Shah of Iran. I suspect that for a lot of people there will be some news from another world when they watch this show. Somewhere in Germany, Hitler's got a town just like this one, full of scientists hungrier than you. They've created this brilliant story and explored all these different people. I'm protecting our family. From what? I hope that they are excited to spend time with these characters. Please tell me it's worth it. Welcome to Los Alamos. Don't talk. <laughs>